make of the Mavericks? They basically, in, in terms of the roster, basically invested in their own players this offseason, including that massive extension for Luka Doncic, of course. They bring in Jason Kidd and management changes over. Those are the biggest differences. Yeah. Based on the small sample of what you've seen on the floor, what do you think of the Mavericks and the direction they're moving? Well, I, I don't think they're hitting on all cylinders offensively yet. I think that's obvious. They're, they're 30th at getting to the rim. And uh, they shoot a lot of tough threes, a lot of, a lot of off the dribble plays. Um, they're not an overly fast team. They're not running by people. So I think they got to figure out how to score. Um, and, and defensively, tonight they were good, held the team under 100. But um, they're not real balanced right now. And uh, they got to figure it out. But you think about those changes new head coach, new front office, those are big. Those are big deals, mm -hmm. okay? Are they in alignment? Do they know how they want to play right now? They want to play like they played last year? They want to play differently. Um, it's tough, and, and, and you see they'll have some ups and downs, but good win tonight. And at some point, they hope to have a healthy Kristaps Porzingis yeah. in the lineup. He was not in the lineup tonight because of a back issue. Yeah, and listen, he does kind of change their whole dynamic when he's out there just because of his versatility, and I think we're all waiting to see him take another step yeah. as a player. But to coach's point, you know, you bring in a new philosophy, a new style, new coach. That does take time to transition. I, I like the pickup of Reggie Bullock also because he yeah. does give them some more shooting mm -hmm. um, and does make the court a little wider and more open. Uh, they have the luxury of having a guy like Luca, who's so good with high usage that it can, it can mask a lot of your ills. Um, because he's so dynamic. He can make plays in so many different ways, and he can score against great defense. But ultimately, when you start looking big picture, you need more than one of those guys. Yeah. You, you're just not going to be able to go far in this league unless you have two guys that put literally equally as amount of, pr amount of pressure on a defense that really puts you in some tough situations. Um, and right now, they, they don't have that. Jalen Brunson looks like he's starting around in the shape, yep. had a solid performance tonight. This is a good win for them, though, and, and not having Porzingis, you know, being down 20 early. Uh, but it, it's, uh, it's going to take some time. I, I think when you look at what all happened this past offseason, there's so much transition. I really feel like we're not going to get a sense of who's who until Christmas. Yeah. You know, it's going to just take some time for these guys. Because remember, teams don't practice – as much now so you, right. you don't have the opportunity to create those habits the way you used to so it's just pre season gonna, yeah, down. shorter you don't practice as much yeah, it so it it's gonna it makes deal. it harder for a coach and staff New coach yeah. you know to figure it out you know they, they're gonna have to literally experiment in the course of a game to figure out ultimately who they're gonna become that's why I said by Christmas I think we're gonna have a better sense of who these top teams are you look right now I mean Phoenix has won one game right you know, the Lakers are struggling yeah. you know teams that you thought and you knew that are going to be there when it's all said and done right now, they don't look very good. Early on, I would say uh, the, the same issues you mentioned with Dallas have sort of reared their ugly head here early on as well. Is that too often they're just all looking at number 77 yeah. Yeah. to make something magical happen? And he can do that, but we've seen in the past few seasons you can't only no. solely rely on Luka Doncic if you're going to go deep into the postseason. Yeah, but they don't have anybody else that can do those things, right? Like when you – you look at even, you know, the Clippers when they're healthy. You know, you've got two guys with George and Leonard that can be the number one guy right. that the other guy trusts in big situations. Luka doesn't trust anybody with the ball. I don't think the coaching staff does yet to make those plays in those critical junctures. And so that's – it's hard to trust somebody that when you don't have anybody built like that. You know, Tim Hardaway is yeah. a terrific player, but he's not a – guy that you give the ball to 30 times and say go make plays for right. us. You know, they don't they're not built that way. So it's going to be a little more difficult for them. The one thing coach they are a little better defensively thus they far. Are, they what are. We've seen. They uh, they seem to have made the commitment there and I think that's been helpful. They um, don't get easy buckets. No. And they don't no. they don't get plays at the rim and Lucas Lucas always line. facing the defense. As yeah. you said coach, 10 eyes. Yep. Yeah. Right. 10